the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Here's the pitch. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Well, this veteran pitcher lets you know right away what his game plan is. Fastball inside. He's trying to take away that inside part of the plate to open up the outside. Showing us early. A big uppercut there as he popped this straight up. Fregman is there for it. One down. Bases are empty, one man out. Curveball that time, not even close. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Three and one. This guy, whoo, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count gets him excited. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. One and one, here it is. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, that's a tough one right there. If that ball's at somebody, probably a double play. But as a result, it's one of those seeing eye singles. Just found the hole. Into the box, number 35. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now batting, Yosmani Grandal. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Reined in. On the first, and the Dodgers come up with nothing as that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Now the Astros will get their first opportunity. No score. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know, I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. You Darvish gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Well, let's take a look at the Dodgers defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. Ready now, George Springer. He'll begin things here against you, Darvish. Just hung in there on that one.
Another full count pitch home. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. A lot of indecision there on that check swing, and that's something you see quite a lot on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Here it comes. And a fastball not close. It's two and one now. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Working the plate is Larry Bullard. Yeah, Matt. Bullard's got a pretty fair strike zone all around. He'll miss a call here and there on the black. But what umpire doesn't? Here we go, guys. A good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Looking for back-to-back -back K's to start the game. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. There to make the play is Puig for route number two. And with two away, let's give you one more look at the pads these two teams took to get to this game three of the World Series. Here's the one and two delivery. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. We are still scoreless. Digging in, Adrian Gonzalez. Will lead things off here for L.A., but don't go too far. Yasiel Puig set to bat next. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. A solo shot here to left. His first homer here in the series. And the Dodgers strike first, one to nothing. Well, how do you beat the shift? You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up in the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. Bases are empty here, nobody out. High in the air out to center field. Under it is Maben now as he pulls it in for the first out. 